Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be playing some of your games from the game jam. So there's quite a few submissions so I'm going to be doing two parts. Part one today where I'm doing half of them, part two tomorrow where I'm playing the other half. And as I play them I'm also going to be rating each one as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it and play some of these awesome games that you've made. I'm going to be playing these in no particular order as well. So the first game we have is 8-Bit Super Hot created by Zilex or Xylex. So if we walk up here we can see Time moves when you move, press control to dash. Enemies can only be hit by their corresponding bullet. And for example, the blue enemy on the pillar can only be hit by a blue bullet. Okay, that's cool. So I think this is just an A bit super hot then, which makes sense, it's in the title. That's a cool concept as well, so time only moves when we move. It's a nice implementation of that. And again, you have to shoot them with the correct bullet as well. So if I were to press 5, I think that equips bullet 5. Yes it does, so then I can shoot this enemy up here. And if I don't move, then they can't shoot me until I do move. That's really cool. So if I were to shoot them... Oh, I died, okay. <laughs> right, let's retry that. Let's go back, press 5 to equip that bullet, shoot them. Okay, so I think time does move, it's just very slowly. Okay, so let's try this one more time. So let's shoot, move. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him, okay. That was the yellow one of it. Oh, I got shot from somewhere else. Let's retry again. So I now know what it sounds like when I do shoot them, so I know. There we go. Okay, so I've got to aim a little bit off to the left, I think. Then let's equip zero bullet. Oh, where am I getting shot from? Okay. Right. Let's keep moving. I think it might be the, his bullet was shooting. So let's get the one over there. Let's equip the correct bullet first, so zero by the looks of it. Or is it one? Might be one. Oh, it's one, okay. There we go. Is there one in there as well? There is. Oh, okay, that one's hard then. Okay, all right, now we're back to this point. Let me see if I can try and get him. Okay, he shoots fast. Am I out of bullets? I might be out of bullets. Oh, that's not good. Right, I don't know if it's just me being bad at the game, but I don't seem to be able to hit that last one. So I'll give it one more go. If I can't get it, then I'll move on to the next game. Just want to make sure I leave enough space for every game. So we've got blue. Let's go for orange. Got orange, let's go for red. Yeah, I think we're hitting it. Yeah, that definitely hits it. Okay. I might just be being dumb, actually. There might There's another color, which I might be having to hit it with instead. Let's try that one. Okay, so let's try four instead of three. That might actually be the proper color. Uh, it was, okay. So that was just me choosing the wrong colour then, that's my bad. Uh, they look the same, right, <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Okay, I've just read the page, and it says kill all enemies to win, so I think I've won. So that was a good game, actually, I really did enjoy that. That's only me, that was my bad, I was just looking at the wrong colour. Uh, but that was a really good game, again, like I said earlier, I like the different concepts, it was all executed well. I like the art style as well, it does feel kind of nostalgic, and kind of old school, but that's from the past, so I do like this. So I'm going to give it a rating, and then we'll move on to the next game. Okay, so now we've got a walk home. This is a game set in the early 2000s. You come home and work at midnight, but ghost sightings have been appearing lately. Let me just change the volume of this a little bit. So let's go with that. Let's hit resume and let's have a go. So we're in a nice little horror setting here. This definitely does feel early 2000s kind of game. Uh, so let's pick up this flashlight. Got some nice footstep sound effects as well. And the flashlight equipment. E. Got some leaning system. For Q and E. Uh, oh, it's left click. Flashlight added equipment, press F. Oh, I've got a nice little animation for it as well. This is looking very good. I like this so far. Sprint as well. So I imagine we're looking for ghost sightings then, maybe. This looks nice. I like the sound effects, I like the animations. The overall theme is here. This does definitely give off a horror vibe as well. Building up tension well as well. I don't know what to expect or I just know there's gonna be ghosts somewhere. Let's run. Seems to be gated. Do I have a key? No. Is that my house? No, we can't get in. Oh, let's not turn the light off. Need that. 
can't get in there. So I guess let's uh, keep exploring. Might need to find a key or something somewhere on the map. this my house. Let's see if I can open this one. I can open this door. Oh, oh there's a ghost there. Oh, I'm guessing I'd have to walk into it, which I don't really want to do. That was a good little, good little scare. Oh. Oh, I think that was it. Oh, that was a nice little short game. I like that. Sound effects are there. They were great. The overall atmosphere and the feeling of it was there. Definitely felt like an old 2000s game from the past. I like the audio, the visuals, and the sound, and the animations as well. All of it was great. So again, I'm going to rate this, and then we'll go into the next one. So the next one is Bounce Ball, which is a 3D platformer inspired by a game Bounce Ball on Nokia phone. So let's see if this may be a bit too loud again. Uh, we'll turn down a little bit. I think that's a bit better. So let's hit play and have a test. I can see this out. Oh, okay. I like this. So we just W A S D. Oh wow, okay. Okay. I float quite far. So get used to the controls. Okay, right. So let's try this again. Right. I always underestimate how far I'm going to actually float. There we go. So we can go all the way over this one. Okay, yeah. I don't want too far again. Right, let's try again. Let's go all over, but not too far. Oh, I just missed it. Right. I have a good at platform games, I don't know why. I always miss the platform. Oh, what? I went forwards that time. Okay, so I only really need a slight tap. Instead of... I can move forward and back, actually can't I? I want to go on that platform. Just go forwards a bit. Well, not that far. I like this though, it definitely gives you the old blast from the past kind of vibes. Definitely, like they said, it's from an old Nokia phone. Uh, the visuals do give that off as well. And the sound effects too. And then the music, it restarts every time you die. I feel like if you made it so it just doesn't do that, it just loops continuously throughout the game. That might improve it a little bit, but I mean overall, everything else I really love. Controls feel a bit floaty, but I imagine that's probably how it's supposed to be. Uh, I mean, it feels like that's how it's supposed to be anyway. There we go. Oh, forwards instead of left and right. Okay. Oh, bottom. Oh, is that a checkpoint? Okay, good. Let me just make sure I've definitely got that. Oh, I'm bouncing high. Oh, I think it's a bounce boost, not a checkpoint. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, no, I got it. I really like this game. This is good fun. It's a nice little short, simple game. I like the bouncing mechanics of it as well. It's nice and fun. I've not played a game like this before, actually. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I, oh that better not have been the last jump I just messed up on. Oh, it's starting from the beginning as well. They're not checkpoints. Okay, well, let's see if I can do this. It's just this first part I can't seem to do. The rest of it did fine. I'm always overestimating that last jump. Okay, let's try this again. I think I went too fast last time, so let's take this a bit slower. Trying to line it up. Oh, oh, I think I did it. Oh, there's more levels. I thought it was the end end. There's more levels. Oh, this is great. Do I jump on that? Oh, I do. Oh, this is a really cool game. I love this. It's a nice simple concept, but it's executed very well. And the end of the level there as well. Oh, well, I think I might leave this one there. Uh, we've had a nice game. We played the first level, completed that. I've understood the controls. It took a bit of getting used to for me, but I think that's just because I'm not very good at these type of games. 
but I did really enjoy this. The visuals were great of them. It did definitely look like an old Nokia phone. The music and the sound effects of it were all great as well. I love the mechanic of always jumping and you have to bounce according to that. Again, the controls felt a little floaty to me, but it did feel like those were how it was supposed to be. Didn't feel wrong, just needed time to get used to. But again, I did really enjoy this. I'm gonna vote on it, submit the rating, and then go on to the next game. So this one is just called Game Jam Hero by Fletchlock. So let's have a look at this one. It's called How to Play. Make your way into the mines to rescue trapped miners before you run out of helipack power. Use your TNT to blast the rules that are blocking your path. Avoid cave critters or blast them with your laser to prevent losing a life. Watch out for deadly lava pools and underground pools. Ouch hot. Oh, and don't hit the lanterns or be faced with blackness. Use TNT to temporarily light the way. Oh, I like the sound of this one. This sounds great. Controls. WASD. Drop TNT is S. Okay, shoot laser space. Pause. Quick game. No warning. Let's escape. Uh, game controls. I've not got gamepad. Credits. Sounds from free sound. Textures. All three models animation. Fletch lock. Recreation of Hero by John Van Rysen in 1984. This sounds like a great game. Let's hit play and see what it's like. And on the extra page, that he's done 10 levels and he's going to do another 10 in the future, which sounds great. Managed to get 10 whole levels done in the game jam. Uh, yeah, I just don't seem to be able to get the TNT to drop, which is really weird. I don't know if that's a bug, maybe. Oh, you have to. Okay, you have to be on the ground to drop TNT. Right, okay. I'm out of power now. <laughs> right, let's retry. Okay, so now I understand that. You have to be on the ground to drop TNT. Okay. Let's try again. Got 10 levels. Let's rescue this guy. There we go. Oh, that's my power all the way down. Oh, because I finished that level. Okay. Cool. Like I say, this is a great game. I really like the concept of it. Oh, the crit there as well. It is executed well. Just had to get over that first hurdle. Uh, of not being able to drop TNT, but again, that was just me not being able to do it. Oh, I went down the wrong hole, maybe? Ah, uh, okay, I have to go over here. That's cool. So let's blow that one up, and then let's go down into this hole instead. There's some critters here as well, we've got to deal with. There we go. Get a spider. Get this bat, and then save this guy. There we go. That's a nice little idea. Again, 10 levels, so probably go through all of them. Press S. There we go. I like the idea of having to blow your way into these uh, different places. I want to see how dark it gets. Oh, that goes dark. Oh, I didn't think it would be that dark. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's nice and bright down here again. Okay. Go down this one. Uh, that is the right one. Okay, cool. Oh, I can imagine I'm going to blow that up anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't need to because there's a spider there. Okay. And blow that up. Get out of the way. Kill the bat. I'll go down. Rescue this other person down here. Uh, let's blow this up. Get out of the way. Go down here. The start of the levels will seem to be very similar, but then once you get down, it does seem to diversify a bit more and change each time, which is cool. Oh, what's that? Can I kill that? I can, nice. Got a score of nearly 10,000. Seem, seems good, but I don't know. Let's kill that. See how oh that's how bright it gets with TNT. Okay, well, it doesn't last long, does it? Oh no. Oh, even just standing on it does that. Oh, okay. I wish I didn't shoot out this light now. <laughs> I just want to see what it looked like. Is there another hole down there? Oh, there is. Okay. Did that blow up? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Oh, I've only got one TNT left. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, it's really dark as well. <laughs> okay, let's hope I don't need any more. Guess I don't have any more. Okay, good, I don't. Cool. This is on the beginning level. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that kills you. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, this way? Oh, oh there's a gap there. Oh, cool. Oh no. 
uh, ran out of life, something in the game closed. Okay, well that's a really cool game. I'm gonna rate that as well. That one was really good. Definitely did follow the theme. So again, it's an old 1980s game, I think you said. Overall, the gameplay was there, it was good. Uh, there's a little hiccup at the start from me, not knowing I had to be on the ground to plant the TNT. So I think maybe just in the control, say, S to plant TNT, have to be on the floor, or something along those lines. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it was great. Visuals, audio, all there, all good. So I did really enjoy that one. Sorry if it sounds like I'm being repetitive with how I'm rating these games, by the way. I'm blah. <laughs> running out of words to say for each one because I'm really enjoying all of them. You're all done great work getting all of these done in such a short period of time as well. Really am enjoying it. So all great work everyone. So this next one is Laser Game Pro. So let's check out the credits. Game mode by Samurai YT, background music, Laser Game Pro, AI character from Mixmo, don't know who made it, and gun made by Yingpei Games. So let's hit start. So they said it's a first person shooter. It definitely is. I like the look of this. For some reason it gives me Halo vibes, not sure why, because there's nothing much about it. It is Halo. I need to do turn it down though. Oh, I failed. Well, I was turning down the volume. <laughs> Let's try it again. That's a bit better. I've got that one. Okay. Can't see my bullets, but I think that's intentional. I think there's someone behind there. Can't ADS either. Just kind of a bit like CSGO, it makes it a bit different. Oh, there's no one there. I swear I saw someone there. <laughs> Something over there. Got him. Kills two or four. Okay, oh, there's the other two. Oh, not that one. Oh, I've got reload. Nice one. Victory, there we go. That was good. Some nice little defenders back there. Well played, you've successfully defeated all players. Oh, I like that. Nice little simple first person shooter. You can shoot the enemies. You have different kind of covers that you have here. Oh great, I wonder if I can go inside this building. Let me see. Just want to test that out. Oh, you can. Oh cool. Oh, you can go upstairs. Oh nice. I can probably snipe them or something from up here. I can't believe I can see them from up here. Oh, down there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really like this game. You've got an ammo system, you've got to shoot them. You've got to kill a certain amount of enemies and when you do, the game finishes. That's nice. I like the audio as well. I like the visuals. I'm not sure which game that's supposed to be, if any, from the past. That is, it doesn't have to be, obviously. I'm not entirely sure about Blast from the past. I can kind of see where you're coming from. Again, yeah, did enjoy that, so let me rate that. Nice work. And this next one is Nekatum by Asmund. So I'm quite looking forward to this one, seeing a lot of the progress as it was being made. It's an explorer type shooter game. It tries to take a lot of stuff like from other games from like Fear, Goldeneye, and there's even some references to Zelda. Your mission is to eliminate a force that planted a bomb in the building and disarm the bomb. Once you disarm the threat, you can exit the building. Cool, okay. So you have six different guns. You destroy things with gun three and gun four deals more damage. Interact with E. V is trigger slow motion and P is open pause menu. By the way, I'm reading that off of the Game Jam itch.io page as well. So let's go look at the settings. I've got some nice settings here. I think I'll leave them all as they are by default. And let's hit play. Let's hope it's not too loud. Oh, we've got 10 minutes, okay. Just an immediate timer there. Definitely put some pressure on the player. Nice footsteps. I really like the visuals of this as well. It looks great. So we have to go explore. I think we have to find our current objective. Look for the keypad code. The flow is an endless source. I wonder if that's a clue of where it is. Not a secret. <laughs> What's this down here? I can sprint as well. So far this is looking really good. Sounding good as well. Oh, I don't need the key card. The keypad code, don't I? Trying to find it. So the flow is an endless source. I imagine water flowing, pipes, somewhere over here maybe. I wonder if it isn't a not a secret. No, because it must be uh, numbers, right? Yeah, it must be numbers. That's cool though. You can, it's a nice little keypad interaction there. So I think it's somewhere over here. Did I look at it earlier without realizing? Oh, oh, you can walk through, oh, okay, yeah, I feel feel kind of dumb now, <laughs> not a secret, if it's not a secret, walk into it, so there's a room here, so I said it was probably behind there, <laughs> uh, keypad code 4321, okay, well, I've only got five minutes left now, 
That's really cool. Okay, that's cool. I I was just seeing what I can what I can do, and I can walk through that wall. Okay, that's really cool. I didn't even need to do that. Was so it four, three, two, one? So we've now got a much tighter time limit. But four, three, two, one. Okay, presenter. There we go. Oh, so door open. That's a nice little keypad system as well there. So walk through. I've, I have noticed I've got health and ammo, so I imagine there'll be some enemies. Oh, I think you can hear the bomb. Yeah, I just remembered I'm trying to disarm a bomb. Oh, there is enemies over there. Oh no. Oh wow, there's destructible items as well. Again, this door. No, the door's locked. Oh no. So I imagine that door will open when I've killed all the enemies. I just can't seem to kill them. So I just messaged uh, Asmund, created the game, and see what he says. Because I don't know if it's a bug in the packaged game or if I'm just <laughs> being bad at shooting them. Uh, let me just do that. Uh, but we'll see what he says. I'll try again, I've only got 40 seconds left. But okay, I can't seem to kill them. I can't even see blood come off them, which I know is part of the uh, part of the game. I don't know how to set that up. Okay, so I've just spoken to Asmund and he just reminded me that there are multiple guns, uh, which I kind of completely forgot about. So he's saying, gun forward does the most damage, which I did read at the start and completely forgot that. So let me try again. So I already know the code this time, so now I've got the maximum 10 minutes. Let's go over here, 4, 3, 2, 1, unless it changes. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Uh, so gun 3 as well is destructible meshes. Oh yeah, so let's do slow motion, destroy destructible mesh. Oh wow, that looks good. Uh, and then gun 4 does the most damage. So let's try that again with the enemies this time. Let's see if I can actually kill them. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a much easier. Okay. <laughs> That's my bad once again. So, I mean, every bug I found with these games uh, all seems to be my fault every time. Uh, there we go, yeah. So now I can actually kill them. I completely forgot there's six guns. Which is a really cool feature. I just... You know, I forgot. So, this final one killed all. I believe I've killed them all anyway. So, I've killed all the enemies. Let's go look for a key. I imagine it's going to be in this room since it's the only other room in the area. Uh, so, let's have a look. No key. Oh, key there. Picked up a door key. Nice. Current objective, locate to summon the bomb at the dead sleep alone. Let's go over to this door over here. Press E. There we go. Oh, let's go to the basement. See if there's any more enemies down here. I mean, now that I know what I'm doing, I've got a lot of time left to disarm the bomb. Oh, there it is. Okay. How do I disarm it? Oh, I've picked it up. Is that disarmed? <laughs> Current objective, defeat the boss and escape the building. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, hold on, you can beat the game. Find the exit door to complete the mission. God, he scared me. <laughs> Jump scared me just standing in the corner. Exit. Oh, that's nice and simple. Oh, cool. That was a great game. Once I got over some of the little bugs, which again was kind of my fault for not realizing, that was great. I really did enjoy that. The visuals were there, the kind of the mechanics were great. There's a nice boss fight at the end as well. Damage was a bit unbalanced, but he did also mention that when I was messaging him, that he's going to do a bit more balancing later on. But again, mechanics, visuals, audio, all there. There's a nice keypad system, nice shooting the enemies, some destructible meshes, all great. And again, it did follow the theme as well, because he took inspiration from old school games with a blast from the past. So I'm going to rate this one as well, and again, move on to the next game. So this next one is Project Nostalgic. A little loud, so let's turn that down. Let's see, if that's a bit better. Nice cutscene. Where is this place? We have been here before. I need to find my bag. Wow, that was great. I've never seen a cutscene before in a game jam game. I've just noticed on the recording this is messed up. 
and the resolution of my monitor has increased to fix this, so I imagine that's probably why the game's being recorded in the correct resolution. Uh, I'll fix that in post. But yeah, this looks great. Okay, I've never seen a cutscene before. I like the art style, it reminds me of kind of a 90s horror game, which I think is what he was going for. I do really enjoy this. Let's go over what here. This doing here? Oh. Some nice voice acting as well. Got an Arthur's note. Let's go up here. Some <laughs> backpack. Much more cinematics. They don't work here. You know that. You know that. What was that? It was just an echo. Just an echo. This is a really good game. I'm really enjoying this. It was professionally made and not made in two weeks for a game jam. Let's go out here. Oh no. This sickness is temporary. Keep moving. Let's go left or right, left or right. Let's go right. This one lit up. Looks nicer to go down. Oh no, the swing. Haunted Park. Oh my god. Oh wow. Too close. They're definitely too close. Tree fell over. Remember, things are different here. Careful, careful. It's coming back to me. Down here is where we would play in the summer. Good. Play in the summer. We must keep going. Oh, oh wow. From the fires. Yeah, I like imagine. Oh, God, well, this is a nice little, definitely reminds me of the 90s games, this scene, running to the camera, away from danger like that. That was a nice feature. I'm really loving this game. Everything about it. Voice setting as well, it's amazing. A boat in the water, I guess down here. Oh there. Yeah. I can't reach the boat. I need something to pull it in. Oh. I don't know if going towards the door which opened itself is a good idea, but let's do it. Why not? Barn door. Oh. Oh, well, that's not great. Oh, it's a nice camera angle here. I mean, there's worse things happening in here, which I should be talking about, but the camera angle is nice. I love control again, I do. Uh, oh, I can use the rope. Yeah, there we go. Pull the boat in, then and, uh, ignore what happened in that room. Get the boat and get out of here and ignore everything that's happening. It's a good shot. Oh, I can move. Oh, I can move. Okay. I keep thinking it's a cutscene when it's not. <laughs> okay, there's actual physics for. On a boat as well. I've gone really in detail with this game in two weeks. I think he said he made it all by himself as well. I think. Oh. Stay calm. The animation of this is really good. So I'm just looking for something. Edge again. Is that a light? Yeah, it's a dock here. Oh, that's where I just came from. I just went in a circle. Is it? Oh no. This is where I'm supposed to go.
guess we're gonna go follow her then. Wonder what vision I'm having now. Something's coming. Something's coming. Oh no. Oh, it's a tornado. <laughs> That's not quite what I was expecting. Let me find a back entrance. Oh, perfect. Just <laughs> holding the fence. This doesn't feel like a good idea just going into a random house in the middle of the woods. But, yeah, we're going to do it anyway, I guess, aren't we? Oh, I guess a statue. The window. The window. The window, yeah. When in despair, you will find me. I will guide you through the night. When you're confused, I will show you the way. When you're in pain, I will take it from you. I'm with you from the beginning until the end. Oh, the window. What about the window? Which window? This window? This window, yeah. Oh, the lights are on. Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing, pal? Please, can you help me? This here is private land. Why are you snooping around? I'm not sure what's going on. I just woke up in this place. Uh, why are you hurt? Have you been attacked? I, I don't think so. I was caught in a storm that just passed over. Storm? I haven't heard nothing about no storm coming this way. Really? You didn't see or hear anything? No, I really didn't see anything. Hey, what's your name? Arthur. Well, Arthur, I'm Gerald. I think it's best we get you inside. Can you walk? I can. Do you have somewhere for me to lie down? I'm exhausted. Yeah, I do. Follow me. End of demo. I really like that. That was done very well. Visuals were great. Audio was great as well. Like I say, that's the most voice acting. All the different elements of it really came together to make it all great. Definitely followed the theme of Blast from the Past. All of it I just absolutely loved. So no, it wasn't made by somebody. There's team members with a programmer of ha Harshit, story of Anchor, modeler of Tan Mei, sound effects of Nick Hill, VFX and love designing of Samarth, and Test of Shrank. Sorry if I messed up those names, uh, but really well done, guys. I really love that. And they said they're very surprised by the results of the game, so it'll continue its development. And you definitely should, because that's definitely got great potential to do well. It's a horror game set in the early 90s with PS1 graphics for the gamers to get the feel of the game. This is just an alpha demo. Again, I absolutely love that. So I'm going to leave that a rating and go on to the next one. Really well done. You should be proud of that one. So this one is Sidearm Shootout by James. Let's hope this one isn't as long. It's quite loud again. Let's turn that down a bit. And that's good. So let's have a look at the settings. Graphics. It's good. Let's hit play. So sidearm shooter, I imagine it's going to be an FPS type game. Let's have a see. Wow. It's another cutscene. Oh wow. That's great, I don't know what or who that is. I can ADS, yes. that's cool. I still access the graphics. I can't. Okay, that's fine. I like this. this looks really nice. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know if I crashed something or if somebody threw me or or what. I guess we'll find out. I've got a score. I've got bullets. Oh, this person. Do I shoot them or do I. <laughs> I feel like I probably should. I've got thirst, hunger, and health as well. I'm going to shoot them see what happens. Oh, score 10, okay. Oh, there's people everywhere. I 
I really like the graphics of this, it looks great. Got a nice score system, I'll just sort of reload. I think I can find more ammo somewhere, because I'm going to run out soon. There's a lot of bodies piling up over here. Imagine these are zombies by the looks of them. Oh, I've got infinite ammo, okay, cool. I think, unless I picked up more ammo, which I might have done without realising. I've never seen a uh, thirst, hunger, and health in a game jump before, though. Location discovered the lonely cabin. That looks nice. I don't know if I want to go in there. <laughs> Probably gonna be some jump scare. This looks really great. I imagine there's gonna be people upstairs, though. Oh, I can't go upstairs, okay, never mind. Okay. Fair enough. Can I run? I can run. It's a nice animation for that as well. I'm really impressed with this. I mean, there's people there. I say people, I don't think they are people, they're probably zombies, aren't they? But again, this is really impressive, the audio, the visuals of it as well. It's a nice low poly and kind of um, old school post processing on it as well. I think headshots do more damage as well, which is a nice feature. And quite often missed in uh, game gems. Because obviously it's more simple to not include that, to just do body damage, but it is included. It's a big tree over there. I wonder if that's where I'm supposed to go. It's a cool animation. I believe James made all these animations himself as well, another poly. And he had a low poly art style for everything. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe he has. I don't know where he came from. Oh god, it's terrifying. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh no. I came from everywhere. I might have to run from these guys. Oh, I've got low health as well. I have been hit. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. That's a lot of them. Let's just shoot into the shoot into them and see what happens. Oh there's more, they're coming from everywhere. I'm just gonna keep following the path, see what happens, see where it takes me. Seems to be a light up here. Unless it's just the sky. Oh no. Path splits off into two. <laughs> Which way do I go? Uh, let's go left towards the big ominous looking buildings. If that's means what they are, it might not be. Okay, inspect your weapons as well by pressing F. It's a cool feature. So I'm going to keep running for a bit more. Probably see if I can get to this place. And if not, then I'll uh, move on to the next game. So I think I'll make sure I keep, leave space for all of them. That's a lot of... Again, I'm imagining zombies. Oh, they do know Smith. I'll just sneak past. I'll try to get past, though. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, that's so many. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there's a building here. Okay. Oh, my. Old high school. I don't know if I can get in. <laughs> that's so many. Just run past. Oh, no. They're oh, I'm dead. <laughs> That's a really good game. I really like that. Let's go back to the menu. The style of that was all great. I like this music as well. Audio was there. The visuals definitely gave the old school kind of vibe blast from the past. An old FPS shooter, killing zombies, going through the woods. Nice cutscene at the beginning. Again, all amazing. Absolutely loved it. Nice work, James. I'm going to give it a good rating and then move on. Hey guys, I'm just saying a little message here. Really sorry, but my mic for some reason didn't record on these last three games, and I'm really not sure why this has happened, but it's really quite annoying, because as I've come to edit it, I've realised my mic didn't pick up, so again, really sorry for that, so I'm just going to probably play some background music or something over these games, instead of having my mic on as well. Again, really sorry, but I did thoroughly enjoy and love these games as well, so I don't feel disheartened that I haven't got my mic over talking about it, I did really enjoy them, so thank you so much for making them again, they are great, and sorry again, I've got no mic over it. But I'm still going to put it in the video because I do still want to showcase your games on the channel because they are great. 
So again, thank you for participating and really sorry that my mic hasn't worked on this part here. And I'm not re-recording it because obviously that then won't be my first reaction and all that stuff and it's still quite a lot of recording time as well, which I'm afraid I just don't have time to do. So I'm really sorry again, but I thought I'd just let you know why there's no mic. Hey, and welcome to the Unreal Museum of History. The year is 2510 and the automated card bots do not accept if you take anything. In case you accidentally take anything, just hit the zero key on your keyboard, maybe twice, and they will decriminalize you. And you can proceed as normal. Oh, those silly robots. On the ground floor, at the right, we have a wonderful exhibition about the YouTubers from the early 21st century with a small section of our most famous and most favorite YouTubers. On the left you will find the relaxation room, a small exhibition on the Dutch musician and painter Herman Brood, and a small collection of notable inventors from different areas. Way in the back you will find a small section of Asian science devices. Really fun to look at. Please don't touch, they might break and you'll cry. Upstairs is our long-lasting exhibition about the great painters of the past. Each painter has its own room, with a historic representation of the most common way of keeping and spreading information from the early 21st century. A Wikipedia article. We think it's adorable to see this ancient technique. Just imagine living without a direct AI plugin letting you know everything whenever you want it. Enjoy, and if you're done, there's cake behind the exit door. Hey you! Hey you! Hey you! Hey you! Hey you!
This is John. I found well the Well done, John. Please be careful. The artifact you are looking for is said to be radioactive.
Hey guys, just once again, really wanted to apologise about this last three games, me not having my mic and talking over it, but again, I did really thoroughly love them, and that will be it for this video. I've played half of the games, and tomorrow or the day after, I'm going to be playing the other half as well, depending on time and how many I can do and edit and upload and all that. But again, really love these. I have rated all of them as well, I've given you some good ratings on the Game Jam page on the HO as well. Again, really love all these games. They definitely have all great potential if you did continue building upon these after the jam ends, which I know a lot of you are. And it's great to see all loads of my different tutorials actually put into action and used in real life games as well. It looks and feels great. So again, really sorry about my mic not working on the past ones, but I did love all of these different videos and hope you enjoyed seeing it in the video as well. Again, if your video wasn't in this one, it will be in the next one I'm doing in two parts as there's 22 different games. I've done 11 per video. So again, thank you all so much for entering and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you did find it helpful as well. Maybe learn some new things in the game jam and the voting ends on Monday. So make sure to be playing each other's games and voting on them as well up until the voting ends on Monday. And on Monday as well, the second the voting ends is when we will find out who the winner is. So good luck everyone and well done. Really did enjoy these games.